I'm Michael, and I'm gonna give you a no-nonsense explanation of conditional probability that everyone will be able to understand. Let's look at the weather. This black box represents all possible weather events, and naturally, all possible combinations of weather events. Included in this possible weather is, of course, a cloudy day. Likewise is the event of a rainy day. The size of each of these shapes represent the probability that will occur. Bigger size, larger probability. Notice the overlap between them. Intuitively, if it's rainy outside, it's likely to be cloudy. Therefore, most of the raindrop is overlapping with the cloud. On the other hand, if it's cloudy, there is some overlap with the raindrop, but also there's a large probability that it's just a cloudy day without any rain. So let me ask you a question. If we know that it's cloudy outside, what is the probability that it's also rainy? This first clause is what makes this a conditional event. No longer are we looking at the entire sample space because we are given information that is cloudy outside. Any portion of the raindrop that falls outside of the cloud becomes irrelevant because this area represents rainy and not cloudy. But we're given information that is cloudy. We know that we're going to be dealing with the overlap because this represents the probability that it's raining and it's cloudy. But instead of dividing by the entire sample space or the black box, now our available total area is just this cloud. So we're going to divide this shaded area by the area in this cloud. We take the probability that is rainy and cloudy, represented by this shaded area, divided by the probability that is cloudy, represented by this cloud shape. So we take this cloud out of the sample space and we ignore the rest of it. We can also ask ourselves a mirror question. If we know that it's rainy, what's the probability that it's also cloudy? We're going to do the same thing. We're going to look at the overlap between rainy and cloudy, but now instead of looking at the area from the cloud, we're going to look at the area from the raindrop. Notice that our numerators in each case are identical, and that's because we're looking at the same shaded area. There are different colors in these two images, but they're actually the same shape. But we divide by a different area. Here we divide by the area of the cloud, and here we divide by the area of the raindrop. So we divide by what we're given information about, because that becomes the new sample space. And finally, two points of caution of conditional probability. The two events might have a casual relationship, but they're certainly not required nor suggested to have a causal relationship. And the second, one event may come before at the same time or after another, but that's simply not communicated in any of our calculations. Mm -hmm.